Hey friends, it's Emily at Art With All Right. Thanks for joining me. Uh, this lesson, we're gonna be drawing this fluffy kitty cat. So grab your pencil and let's get started. Woohoo, we're drawing a kitty cat. I love to draw animals, you know I do. You know I have my own uh, subscription-based website called keepdrawing.com where we draw amazing things that you won't find on my YouTube channel. Look at this ninja cat. Finding the mouse with the cheese. What? I have a cat collection, a dog collection. Look at this. We've got dogs that you'll find on YouTube, and then we've got doggies that you won't find on YouTube. Only to be found in my live classes at artwithallbright.com and on my new subscription-based website called keepdrawing.com. That's my goal, guys. Oh. This one's blank. Why is this one blank? Oh, here we go. <laughs> you never know what's going to pop up in my class. Uh, so join me somewhere online. Join me somewhere in the Houston, Texas area at a class, at a camp. And we can draw together all the time, guys. My goal is to help you build your confidence. Uh, that's why we draw with pencil. That's why we um, stay out of trouble with that pen. I want you to have an eraser and build your confidence, all right? So I hope you have your pencil. Hope you have your paper. I'm using a cardstock piece of paper. Uh, you, can, you can draw on anything, right? Napkins are, napkins are acceptable in, in my class. So with this kitty cat, we're gonna start with a very light oval, okay? Can you draw a nice big oval? Get your hand moving, uh, pretend in the air, get that movement started. And when we draw, let's draw real light, okay? Because this is called blocking in our shape. Can you even see my shape? It's so light. That is so cool. Look, we have a Yeti. The Yeti we started with a giant oval. Okay, once you learn how to find the shape of the creature or character you're building, then the possibilities are endless, okay? Can you say endless? Yes. I mean, we even did, uh, who is this, Eeyore with an oval. We've done all kinds of uh, Toy Story characters with, with ovals. I mean, come on, the, the possibilities are just crazy endless so you you figure out how you can get um, your creature drawn by looking at the shape it, it's mostly uh, built out of okay you got your shape you're happy with your shape okay so at the very top of our oval let's start with the nose I'm going to just draw a nice big curve up here nice big curve at the top of the nose I'm going to start drawing dark as we put in the detail Okay, when we put in detail, that's when we start drawing darker. When you start drawing darker, that means you're cutting into your paper. So that means you want to make sure <laughs> you like what you're doing and you want to keep it there, right? Excellent. Good, good, good. Okay, so I love drawing with you guys. It's so much fun. So much fun. You make me so happy when I see uh, young people using their talents, using their gifts, um, and, and making them stronger and using your abilities to um, make amazing masterpieces, okay? So here we go. We're coloring in this nose. Follow with me. You ever need, you don't get, don't get frustrated with this, I'm like, don't get frustrated with me. You hit the pause button, okay? And after you hit that pause button, you hit that share button. Share this with your friends. Share this on Facebook, okay? Don't, don't hide uh, this wonderful tool, this great lesson. You share it with everybody. Get your parents drawing with you. What? Yes, I do have students that have parents draw with them. So hi, mom and dads and grandparents and aunts and uncles. It's so awesome that we can draw together and have a lot of fun. You need to step into drawing more and get a uh, donut dude go go draw donut dude next guys how cool is that that is so fun so here we go above the nose i gave you time to draw that color in that nose above the nose we'll do little ovals okay do little ovals we just want small eyes small eyes in there okay and inside those ah, these are so small that i'm going to do a really tiny reflective dot real tiny 
Now, why do we do reflective dots? Because when we draw, we want it 3D. 3D is the illusion of depth. Can you say illusion of depth, okay? Illusion of depth means there has to be some source of light, okay? Imaginary light. Mine is on the right and it's coming down. So when we shade, we'll shade opposite the light source. We'll give little reflective spots. That way our audience goes, whoa, that's pretty cool. It's not, it's not just 2D, it's 3D. So let's pull down the little um, cheeks right here. I'm gonna make it a little curve. Don't give it straight, don't go straight. And then up down here, we'll do a little circle. Like he's going, ooh. Ooh, what is that? Because I have a butterfly above his head. What? That is a cool idea. That's cool. What is your kitty cat going to be looking at? Maybe your cat's looking down here, like we did with the ninja cat, at looking at the mouse coming out for the cheese. What do you think? This is your kitty cat, so you create it. Yeah, I have so many students that, that tell me all their names of their kitty cats, and, and we try to draw each kitty cat that... Uh, all my students have, so we're, we're pretty busy all the time. So I gave eyebrows with curved lines, right? Curved lines. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with some texture, okay? I'm gonna use my oval as my guide, and I'm gonna start at the very top in the middle. Now I'm gonna use the zigzag motion, okay? Watch, I'm gonna go zigzag, zigzag. I want my kitty cat to be really fluffy, so you make those zigzags. Um, all different, all fluffy, and come all the way down till the middle, just like that. You see how I did that? Hey, this could be a hedgehog. We could totally make this a hedgehog. We could make this, uh, we could turn this into a dog if we wanted, but don't tell this cat that. He might get upset. So now when we go the opposite direction, we're going to take our um, zigzag going the opposite direction okay so watch what i'm gonna do start at the top remember when i go too fast you just hit that pause button don't get mad at me just hit the pause button okay but i must ask you a question how fun is it to draw together Woo! i love drawing together it's way too much fun way too much fun so let's do some zigzags all the way down Keep going, making them different lengths, different widths. Don't go too crazy on me. You don't want your cat looking like he just stuck his finger in a light socket or something. Ah, that's scary. Okay, notice we don't have whiskers yet. We're gonna do whiskers the very last, okay? Why do we do them last? Because when we do our shading and then we use our, our blending tool, we don't wanna make our whiskers disappear. Okay, got that? So really cool, really cool. So at the very top, we're gonna to give them ears. So let's put little triangles, real light triangles up here. Real light, we just wanna block in our shape. Okay, I like those ears, so let's put some texture on these. So do some texture coming down. See how I just added a little bit of, of zigzag coming down and gave it some more texture. Can you say texture? Let's give a crease in that ear. Perfect. Now, where are we going from here? Let's go down and add a leg. Let's add a leg right here. So let's just add some texture coming down this way. You can just pull it back into there. And guess what? I'm going to erase just a little bit right down here. I want that leg to come forward just a little. I want it to look like it's moving toward us. So let's just pull it down just a little. See how I did that? Just a little bit. And at the bottom, Let's add a nice curve, add a nice curve. This is gonna be the paw, okay? Curve everything. This is a round object, we don't want flat. And I'm gonna go ahead and color that in. There we go, it's got a dark paw. Does your kitty cat have a dark paw? I think so. So this one's further back, so we're gonna make it just a little smaller, okay? Objects that are closer are larger. Objects that are further away are smaller. So see, it looks like he's kind of walking toward us. Yeah? Cool. You guys are awesome. Dory says you're awesome. Look at that. Dory's like, woohoo. And remember, if you are not finding the things you, you want to draw on YouTube, you got to find me on my new YouTube, not my new YouTube, my new <laughs> subscription 
website called keepdrawing.com. You will love the variety. You will love how many extra cool things I have for you to draw. So definitely find me on keepdrawing.com. Okay, you got those legs going. Let's do this back side, his, his body. Let's pull down like a nice big curve, okay? Pull it down all the way. There we go, you got that part? Can you even see that? It's so light. I'm trying to draw real light. Real light, real loose. That's our, that's our goal here today, okay? Now, if you're having fun, I'd love for you to like my, like my channel and share my channel. That's how I can keep going. That's the way people can see what I'm doing and know that I'm out there, okay? So you help me out a little. Like my page. Share it with your friends. Um, help me out just a little. Uh, here we go. So let's add our texture. Texture, texture. We love texture. Come down. Do your zigzags. Zigzag, zigzag. There we go. We totally have. Um, some depth on this kitty cat and at the bottom down here. We're going to add his foot. Let's make this one um, Come down further Because the back leg is shaped just a little bit different Right you look at those kitty cats and their legs are just a little bit longer in the back Okay, you got that now if you want to tuck a little um, Other paw back there you can see how I'm going to tuck that one back there Some people get upset when I only draw three legs even though you're not really able to see it. <laughs> it's back there. It is back there. Okay, here we go. I'm going to erase that little line right there. I can still see my, my little line right there. Good. So here we go. Right above um, his backside, right here. Let's draw a nice oval. You're thinking, what on earth are we drawing an oval for? How many ovals does it take to draw a kitty cat? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. So why am I drawing this oval? I'm going to have the tail flopped over. This is a very fluffy kitty cat. So I want the tail to be very, very fluffy. All right. So from here, I'm going to start at the very top. I'm going to curve it down, touch the backside over here. Got that? Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to erase this little section at the very top of the oval. Okay. Because we want it flopped over. Can you say flopped over? That's so much fun. Flopped over. Now, now, anything inside of this oval, let's erase. Don't you love having an eraser to draw with? It makes drawing so much more fun. Drawing with pens just really, really scares me. Okay, I love to draw. I'm not a perfectionist, but I love to draw. So drawing with pencil first is always my favorite. Now with the tail, we're gonna do the texture like we did the kitty cat on this side, making sure the texture flows in the direction you're going. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do some texture here and then bring it down and stop. Okay, do you see that? And then I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You can pause me. Up here, I'm gonna do the same thing. Start at the middle of it and pull that texture down. Very cool. Now do I keep doing the texture going this way no 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 we're just gonna pull it down and that's about it do you see how cool that is you have a flopped over fluffy tail can you say all that flopped over fluffy tail blah that's very cool now what kind of kitty cat do you have do you have striped kitty cat or a or brown kitty cat you can get your colored pencils out now and color him or you can just stick with me and let's just finish this up with pencil. I'm gonna do some shading. So everything opposite my light source, I'm going to shade. I'm gonna take my pencil um, on its side and lightly shade opposite the light source because there's less light on this side, it's darker. So when we blend it, we're gonna pull it toward our light source. You got that? Good. Now back here, it's overlapped. So we're gonna do some shading along here. You really wanna get into the detail. You get in all those nook and crannies. Look at this. I'm getting in all my nook and crannies. There we go. And then the tail, we've got the, the opposite the light source side, and then we've got the overlap areas. So there you go. Very cool. I think I'm gonna shade the ears because they're, they're further back. Let's do that. 
Okay, you got that so far? Everybody good? Everybody excellent with that? Have you tried my underwater adventures? My underwater adventures are so much fun. Oh my goodness, I don't think I've ever drawn an underwater adventure the same, same way twice. Have you tried my other kitty cats? My pooshines uh, with my amazing food. I mean, come on, I even have Skittles in here, guys, because I have a marine son and he loves to send me the pushing um, emoji and he loves Skittles so and Nutella and cupcakes and hamburgers. <laughs> so my favorite, of course, is my ice cream. Yeah, what is your favorite ice cream? Ooh, can you even eat ice cream? Hopefully you can because it's one of my favorites. My favorites. I think it needs to be in a, its own food group so we have to have it at every meal, right? Oh yeah, who's with me? So let's draw a butterfly up here real quick. Again, we're gonna do a long skinny oval, long skinny oval, put the little head on, get that head. You wanna add the little contour lines, you can to add the body segments. Wow, we're getting detailed now. And let's add some antennas. There you go. So for the body segments, I'm just gonna add a nice, um, really cool, um, Looks like the letter M, but I kind of made it smushed here, thicker here. That's all. And then the wing behind it, we're just going to add a little uh, shaded area just to show that there's a wing back there too. Okay. Now, how do you want to decorate? You want a monarch butterfly? I don't know. This isn't a butterfly lesson, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shade it. How's that? I'm just gonna shade it. I'll leave the creativity up to you right now. Now, what extras are you going to add to this uh, kitty cat? What extras? Hmm, you could put a bow in her hair. You could put a bow tie on this cat. <laughs> that would be funny. I'd love to see that. So you can find me on Facebook at Art with Albright, okay? So let's keep this kitty cat from flying in outer space, right? By adding a horizon line. A horizon line gives your eye a reference to where it is on the page. We also need to add an anchor shadow. Let's anchor him to the ground. Okay, I guess mine's a boy today because I keep calling this kitty cat a him. So, you know, you never know until you're drawing what you'll find. It, unless you're drawing like Toothless from, from How to Train a Dragon or, or um, a Pusheen. I never know. How about Stitch? I know a lot of you like Stitch. He's on my keepdrawing.com. So check that out. Check it out. Okay, I have a stomp. A stomp is a blending tool. You can find these at your craft store. And I'm just taking it on its side and I'm taking the graphite, which is the pencil, toward the light source. Do you see how it's adding that shaded effect? I love this. I have dog hair everywhere in my house because I have a million dogs. No, just kidding. At any given time, I have three or four or, or nine. Who knows? So let's shade and pull that toward the light source. Now, if you have a kitty cat, I'd love for you to tell me the name of your kitty cat in my um, comments below. If you have a dog, tell me what kind of dog you have because I love drawing dogs. Have you tried my Havanese dog? I've never heard of a Havanese before, but uh, um, one of my YouTube subscribers said, could you please draw a Havanese? Oh, that's not a Havanese, that is toothless. Oh, that's a Havanese. This one's a really fun lesson, so I hope you try that one out, okay? Go try the Havanese, even if you don't even have a Havanese. Now, every good artist signs their art. You own it, okay? You own your art, make it yours. Now, I hope you had a great time um, drawing with me today. I hope to, to find you on my artwithallbright.com or keepdrawing.com. But guys, all I want you to do is to keep drawing. All right. 